Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Tlatuani. This is an Aztec city builder being developed by Perspective Games, Bellwood Studios, and published by Paradox Arc, who are sponsoring this video. This is out today, October 31st, 2024. I'll have links, of course, down, of course, down in the description, and you can check it out. Uh, but basically, we're building an Aztec city. That's really all there is to it. Uh, we've got a few different modes of playing. Campaign kind of takes you through, like, the... Uh, uh, tutorial kind of stuff, and, and eventually leads you into bigger and bigger towns. Scenario, you can choose a certain spot and some sort of setting, whether they whether it be tranquil or not so tranquil, unru unruly Mayan out in the uh, in the world. We're gonna check out a random map today and see what we can do with this thing. Um, for the, the the start of this place, we'll do like a like a nice tropical uh, river map. We'll set ourselves in the spring with some um, with some. Frequent invasions. I'd like to see those. So let's go ahead and hit the generate button. That seems nice. Let's build there. All right. So let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do. So we've got a, a fortress, which is where we're going to house our folks with the spears, and we have a trading post where we house we house the folks with the uh, clay pots or whatever. We're going to go in here and build some houses and get some folks in here. And of course, everyone's going to want as we build these houses, people are going to want like various upgrades or various things, and once they get things and they will upgrade you know how it works but we'll start out with those we'll get some farming and all that kind of stuff set up here uh so this is you know it's it's build yourself a city aztec style uh but there is there is warring uh you'll get attacked by folks you can go out in the world and you can trade with folks over here as well you can punish them if you wish we'll build ourselves a military and we'll see if we can punish some folks nearby if, if uh it maybe comes to that uh, I've actually looked at this game twice in the past. I played a, a very, very, very early build of this like four years ago, five years ago, a long, long time ago. I took a look at this game. And um, and then again, like a year or so ago. And it's it's an int I love doing that from the, especially the early builds. We can see these things sort of grow as, as time goes on. And um, you can see all the stuff we can do in this one. We've got, uh, we'll get some farms going in there in seconds. We'll get nobles and residential, residential walls. We can get proper barracks and stockade walls and towers and gatehouses and war canoe wharfs, uh, temples. The gods, of course, are a thing we got to deal with. Uh, we got uh, Hutzlapakli, I think is how you say that one. Uh, God of War. He watches over the Mashika people. Uh, and, and then basically by building these these temples to them will uh, will sort of sort of appease them. And so they may ma make sure the flooding doesn't ruin our day. Um, and make sure that... Uh, um, the blood of our enemies fertilizes, you know, soil, whatever. Uh, any, anyway, uh, we'll let them get in here and start building these houses up. So what they want is they're going to want security, which is going to be the, the fortress, basically, next to me. Uh, we'll want health when people out there sweep, sweeping the streets, making sure it's nice and clean. We'll get some civic stuff. Uh, folks standing on corners yelling at you. Uh, diversion is basically going to be like sort of like an entertainment. And, of course, religion is something that people are going to want. So we'll deal with all that. But first, we probably should deal with food. We do have a fertility meter, and hey, this is a very fertile spot. This is very fertile. Uh, you know what? I, I know I can build over rivers. I don't know if I can actually build over this with a bridge. Can I? I cannot. Well, there's got to be a bridge I can do. I don't know how to do it. So we may we may stick stick to this side. Without no, that's not that's not shallow water, is it? No. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So cost me clay, timber, and stone. We probably should worry about that first before we do anything else. Before we build a bridge as much as I really want to. So we'll begin with... Let's get food taken care of first. And let's come down here and get ourselves a uh, some farmer huts. Now this is one of those... Um, it's always a question. Uh, what kind of what kind of game is this? Is this a game where you need like, like realistic levels of food? Or like one little farm plot feeds thousands of people? This is more on the realistic side. We're going to need a lot of farm plots. And a lot of food. That's not very straight now, is it? I think I can actually relocate. Um, I'm just gonna bulldoze it and then and then build another one. There we go. So nice, nice and even here. Let's do like I'm gonna do like five of them for right now. In the uh, tutorial when I was playing, I I never had enough food. And we can make maize fields and fruit trees and chili beds and all the good stuff. Um, ooh, a turkey hutch. Turkeys can be kept for the meat and manure if they have space to forage. Nice. Uh, we're going to mostly stick with maize on this side. And each of these places holds 32, 32 uh, squares of, of maize, basically. So I think we'll do something like... Can I do something like that and go way back here? Yeah, you know what? I think I can. Um, 
having. Which I can, pro I can probably do that. Huh? Oh yeah, look at that. Is that gonna work? Maybe. I think so. I think. I think. I think so. So I think that's. I guess that's it. Yeah. So they each. They will each deal with all that maze. Hopefully that'll work. Um. Now for all this to work properly. We need all this food to go into a granary, and then the granary's going to go to a market, which is going to feed the people. So we should probably worry about that. So, and then we'll get some other things. We'll get cacao, you know, and all that stuff shortly. There's there's other things we can make: blade nappers and armors and jewelers and all kinds of stuff we can get to eventually. Uh, there's the Sawyer. I want to get. Uh, oh yeah, canals are very important, and you can see when we get pop-ups here, uh, fertility, and if it's irrigated or not. That's that's a big thing. So we'll have to make sure we get some irrigated fields in here to take care of all of that. Uh, we'll probably just run one that kind of goes around here. I'm not sure it's the most productive, but it'll be fine. Um, maybe that's why my fields didn't do so well my, when I was playing this tutorial. Maybe I didn't irrigate them enough. Anyway. Um, I want to get a... Let's see if I remember where they're at here. Uh, a granary. And we'll set this guy like... This could be like farm farm world view back, back over here. In fact, I think I'll do it right there. And you kind of see how this works where... like, if, as long You can see the range of it. It, it is in range of the fort over there, but these, these little green or yellow blips are basically telling you that it's in range of the building and has good access to it. I'm going to set this guy down here because I'm gonna probably going to build more farms down this way because we're probably going to take up all this space for farms. Maybe even more. I can also chop these trees down if I need to, which I probably will. Uh, but we'll do that for now, and then we'll get ourselves a small market, which is going to take care of the people. And I believe... Well, you know what? Um... think so i was thinking maybe i go here or maybe i come over here something like this like that and we'll put our road in there is stone roads we can put in but we don't need them just yet and then we'll go like we'll cut this that way that way the granary is close to the market the market can deliver where it needs to go everything is great and you can see some little num numbers over here to keep an eye on it wants four thousand people we got 300 Meh, we're fine uh, we, we got more houses being built as we speak and they're about to get some food, so they should be very happy. Uh, the porter's going to carry stuff around. The, um, the, the, where's the other ones at here? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what about a minute as soon as I find them. There's, a, there's the, uh, the, the beauty and, and diversion, which we do want diversion as a thing. So it might be a good idea to have, like, oh, you know, maybe like a, like a mosaic or something over here. That's kind of expensive, but something like maybe a small mosaic. Can, I, can they walk on it? I think they do. I can hit R to change it and make it look like a different mosaic. Oh, that's pretty neat. Let's stick a mosaic in there. That that's pretty neat. House of Song, Memorial, Ball Court. Oh yeah, Ball Court. Yeah, yeah, the whole Mayan uh yeah, that's neat. With the hoops. Cool, cool. Um LA2's house is gonna need a sentry post. I believe that is that is walkable on yeah, so you can walk over those mosaics. So yeah, what is a mosaic? This place is cool. Uh we need a well dipper. To go dipping in the wells and making sure people are not catching on fire. Uh, sentry post will keep people safe. Actually, we don't really need one of those. We got a fortress right there. I think I think safety is actually fine. That's the one thing. Security. So I think the one thing that I should be fine with. Someone, it takes a minute for... So the way this one works, so they all need these supplies. And once they get all this stuff filled up, then they will upgrade. And they'll be the next level. Uh, they have to have it for a year. So it's not gonna, they're not going to be bouncing back and forth over and over. On what on what they um, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? They're gonna be bouncing back and forth, like upgrading, downgrading, you know that kind of thing. Um, let's see, uh, I'm gonna say balance. So the way the, the balance works, I'll explain that in a second. We with trade, basically it's a trade thing. We'll hold a bunch of it, we'll sell the rest. Um, and you have to mark everything you you pick in here. So if you pick chilies up, you gotta go and make sure you mark them in your granary to hold them. And then in your market, it's gotta make sure it's it's holding it in your your uh, trading post is making sure it's dealing with it as well. Uh, apparently, we are importing maize at the moment. Fine, fine, because um, we haven't got it. We haven't got to start cutting things down yet, or or, or bringing the harvest in yet. Um, but anyway, we'll well dipper, and then we also want to get a. Um, I gotta find it. I can never remember. I can never remember. There's a couple of these. I can never remember where they're at. I'll learn these things eventually. Um, there's the a dentist. There's the library, which we'll get that probably eventually. 
Maybe I won't find it. I'm looking for the... It's like a, like a stage, basically. Maybe I won't get it. It was in the tutorial, but it's, it is not here. <laughs> Ooh, a great temple. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty fancy. I played this... Uh, when I played like a demo of it... There it is, Alcove. It's hiding over there. Um, I played a demo of this you know, a year or so ago, and, um, I played for, like, I got, like, an hour and a half or something like that, just in the, in the previous demo of this. Those little guys sliding around, that's the one thing I was gonna say, I remember, um, there was no animations in it then, people were sliding all over, just like that, <laughs> so, so they're getting there, they're getting there, oh, look at that guy, he's fancy. Anyway, our, price, our houses will slowly upgrade as soon as we get stuff brought in here. Mostly just waiting for workers. We got we do have enough people in here, but we got more people that come in and, and get to work. You know, we need the thing to get made. And in fact, before I crank up the speed too much, we should probably worry about getting some things chopped and brought in and all that kind of stuff. So let's bring in. Let's get a Sawyer here, and I'm gonna set up sort of like saw land. I could do like a row here of of those kinds of things, or maybe I'll do it here because I have an idea. So we'll do saw man there. We'll do two saw people. We'll get a road. Right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, uh, um, a... Um... A clay guy. I'll remember where these things are in a minute. There it is. Oh, there's a kiln. Problem is, there's a lot more things in here than there was in the tutorial. <laughs> it's, it's added a lot of stuff. Oh, I can't find anything. Mason yard, yeah. Trading post, granary. Where's my my clay guy? My clay dude. He should be in here. Ain't no clay dude. I guess we don't get a clay guy. In this. Maybe it's just a thing on this map. We don't get a clay guy. I don't know. I'm very blind. And I just have not seen it, but I don't I don't see it. Alright. That's fine. Um, Mason Yard's going to do what? He's going to take... He's going to repair and construct buildings. Also craft artwork from stone. And elite housing. But he needs stuff for that, so I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, a lot of these trees, we're going to go ahead and tell them to chop them down. We're going to say, you know what? Get rid of all these trees right over here. Like that and like that. Get rid of all those. Now we can get to work. I'm still perplexed about that missing clay. Clay dude. But it's fine. Uh, let's get a, a temple here to old, uh, old patron god of war. I'm going to set him over here next to this thing. And he's in range of everything. There's this whole uh, uh, symmetry thing, which basically it's, it just means have your stuff near place, near like houses. It doesn't want to be next to the alcove. It wants to be next to houses, basically is what it's trying to say. I don't know if it needs clear sight around it, except that the red is trying to... Uh, to allude to. It's fine being by the granary. You can see the blue showing up. So I'm going to set it right. I'll just set it right there. Good symmetry. I like it. I think the other shrine doesn't want to be next to that. That's a strong symmetry. It could, be, it could be good, I guess, there. But we can... And Oh, that's actually a strong symmetry right there, too. Who's this one? Uh, who are you? Transmute the blood of the slain into wealth and rich harvests. I mean, that sounds like... That sounds like my kind of thing. I mean, we're the Aztecs, after all. That's what we do. <clears throat> uh, here's a calendar over here. So it is uh, in our in our festivals. We can throw some festivals to uh, to certain gods and appease them. Uh, there's some more of, of our stats, basically. Population demographics, age structure, there's numbers all around. If you want to look at them, wages and imports. Uh, we'll look at that in a second. And uh, yeah, yeah, maize, timber, clay, clay. I guess we'll just import it. What else we got over here? Here's our, oh, here's the gods. So there's he is pleased because we got a temple or building a temple for him. Everyone else is content. And as long as we keep them happy, they won't burn our stuff down. Or flood our stuff or whatever they whatever they do. So let's look over here. So we've got these other folks that we've got, which is only a couple at the moment. Um, we can trade with them. Who else is over here? There you are. Is this like a um Oh, is, is, this, is this like a somewhat accurate map? I think it is, because Tanasha Linda sit on like the lake there. I wonder I wonder if how I 
I'm curious. Anyway, so Nostalgia Land over here, for instance, um, I guess we can't fight them because it's Nostalgia Land. But everyone else, though, we, we can. So if we want to conquer them, if we want to capture them, if we want to punish them, we can open trade with them if we need. And they will buy and sell from us as, necess as needed as well. Anyway, let's continue getting our houses. Let's try if we can get our, uh, our houses, like, in good shape. I, I have the well dipper. I have the... Did I didn't make a sweeper yet. I didn't make a sweeper yet. Let's get a sweeper in here. To make sure things are, are nice and clean around this place. Because the last thing we need is dirt in my town. Something like that. These will slowly get taken care of, but it should start fertilizing this place. As a matter of fact, let's get some canals in here. So, canals are over here this way. And these are going to fertilize all of our land. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something like that. And then over this way. And I was going to go over here. That actually, that works fine. And then we'll cut this way. And we'll dunk into the river there. And that should fill with plenty of water. And then we'll have uh, um, fertile, not fertilized, but uh, uh, watered. Watered plants. I should have left a little bit of a gap there so I can put my canal back this way, which I guess I could still I could still cut through a little bit and have it over there, but it's fine. I'm not that concerned about it. Okay, maze seems to be happening. Excellent. We need four thousand people. We'll get there eventually. My prosperity is not very good. Um, everyone's mood is is uh, is good. Got one prestige. That's going to be basically taking care of some things that pop up, which we'll see in a second. We don't have a lot of might. We don't have a lot of culture. Not a lot of prosperity. Scouts report invading army from Tlaxcala. It's heading our way. Our way. They'll be here in four months. How dare they? I haven't even built uh, a building yet. Well, let's throw in. I'm gonna put. A, we'll put like a wall around here eventually. So let's go ahead and get like a tower. I'm not sure which which direction they're coming from, but I'll go ahead and get a tower set up. Uh, we had a little tiny military which we can mess around with a bit, and we will. Well, I'm kind of glad though. I wanted. I want to see some fighting, so we get to see that at least. Uh, we need to get more people over here working on the Sawyer. And I just need more people in town. Uh, in fact, I could probably use more houses. I think I'm going to put them over here. But yeah, I can't put the, I can't get that other one there. Um, I'm going to do two there. I wasn't thinking about doing farmland over this way. Okay, they'll be here in one month. I ain't scared. Well, that was a quick month. Okay, so they are coming from this direction. All right, so let's go ahead and watch this invading army as the jaguars glide by. Oh, this did get built. Cool. Uh, well, I'm going to set my army, and we're going to plop them right there. I'm going to attend both groups. we got six folks. Get in there, and let's murder them. <laughs> Where are they at? Here they come. Them with their dumb hats and their spears. A little short on common workers. We need to need more. We need more people in this town. Watch out! <laughs> watch, watch out! Here he comes. <clears throat> Go and get you. Now we're gonna. I'm assuming they're gonna attack me. They're, not, they're, they're just hang, hanging out over here in the woods. I'm assuming they'll make their way this way. Now, basically, they're just having a party over there. We're out for a hike. Here they come. Just the one guy? Well, let's go murder him. Mm hmm. Now get over there. Our force is not adequate enough to deter them. I don't know. I see one of them, and I see a lot of us. Also, he's got like 50 spears in his back right now. He's got to be done for. They're throwing the spears on the beat of the drum. Nice. Okay, anybody else want some? I see a couple of you over here. Here they come, one at a time. Excellent. The city's mood is excellent. Yeah. Better be. We just killed those guys. Eventually, we'll get, we'll get that thing done, but we're a little short on, on people in this town. They possess no further uh, uh, threats. We suffered no casualties. Disband the army. Go back to work. Let's get back and, and build some things. So, uh, of course, there's a whole production chain here. So, um, I would use clay as an example, but I can't find the clay pit. But you can clay, which then takes you into uh, into the pottery. 
into the the kiln, which then leads you into making pottery, and you can uh, sometimes the uh, what's his face from Tanasha one's going to be demanding things from us. We can send him stuff, uh, maize and, and pottery and whatever he w he wants from us, which we can send that to him, um, and also make people happy. They will have services. Uh, we need civic diversion and religion, which is which is happening, but it's, it's, it takes it takes takes time for it to actually happen. It has to be all these have to be met for a year before they uh, they level up. So we'll get there eventually, but we just need people. Uh, and so what I want to do is I decided about I was gonna do farms here, but I've changed my mind. I'm gonna do a road, and I'm gonna see about putting in just like a bunch of houses. This is a good spot I think for houses like that. We get a road that comes over this way. We will destroy that one. Um, what did it take for that? Ooh, uh, that's cool. What did it take for that mosaic? Twenty and ten. I'm a little short on that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just importing it basically. I wonder if we should get one of these guys. Let's get one of these guys. Let's set him over here. That seems like a good spot. Poor nutrition is becoming a is poor nutrition is becoming a problem. And so what I'm gonna do about that, I'll make this road continue on here. Maybe down this way. And I'm gonna put a couple more farmhouses in to give us a little bit of variety. A little more space with them as well. So then we can do something like let's do some we can do some fruit trees. Again, 32. Like that. Uh, and then we'll do a chili bed. And then we'll get in mag magui. Fiber and pulp requires dry terrain. And then cacao for our nobles. We don't have any nobles. We can get cotton for our nobles. Uh, Ajuejote. Willows grow near water or swamp. They're coming at me again. Plexcala is gonna die. Uh, let's get um, turkeys. Set them over here. Let's do an extra chili bed. There we go. Okay. That good? That good. We can make our canal come a little bit further also if we need if we if I worry about that. Uh they're coming at me again and I'm a little grumpy about it. So where are they at? These are these guys over here. I don't know what I can what I can do about them. We can punish them. Here comes the the, uh, the attackers at the moment. Take this city by any means necessary and leave no survivors. All right. Do we know how what kind of uh, military they have? They are furious. Well, I'm furious at them at the moment. We can conquer them. I don't know, we have we need to figure out how much military they actually have. I'm sure they, I'm sure that we have far less. <clears throat> Oh, did I show you this? I show you the fertility meters. I didn't show everything else. So there's like a danger map where we're going to be attacked from, which is over there, of course. Uh, my army strength, or army service, I should say. There's strength. Um, diversion of what it, what it is covering, which we do have a little bit of a lack of that. Health is okay. It'll be here in a month. There's a religion meter, which my temple isn't built yet. There's symmetry. There's beauty ambience. My mood, there's my any deposits, which I don't see any. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, stone stone from the from the rocks. And there's our harvest. And yeah, irrigation. It'll get there eventually. Okay, so they have arrived. Coming from the same place, I'm assuming. Let's get my army and reassemble them and we'll put them same place. Good place for them. And here they come. Ooh, a bunch more of them this time. Only slightly concerning. That's okay. We got... We brought... Everyone has 50 spears each. This will be no problem. People are in good moods. Yeah, yeah. Throw those spears. Hey, 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 buddy. Oh, he's a good guy. Never mind. He can throw all he wants. One down. Hey, dudes with the hats need to, need to get in there. Yeah, get that guy. There you go. Where are you going? Come back here, buddy. Never mind. Go back. Go get him. Okay. Get the Jaguar on our side. 
He's hung he's he's hungry. Yeah, my expen expenses are probably pretty bad because we are Yeah, imports. There's a lot. That's okay. We'll get some folks in here. Eventually we'll start making some money. Um oh, they left. Oh, we lost a spearman. So right now we are, so we'll start selling this maize. In fact, I'm going to bump it up a little bit. I'm going to make sure we bring in, we need to make sure we bring in chili and we can sell it. Uh, and we're going to bring in, how much we carry? 60. We'll bring in a little bit of, what did I make? Um, chili. That was it. Chili. Oh yeah. And fruit. Which is like four fruit is probably enough to give a little bit of variety. Um, I didn't do any hunting. We did chop those trees down pretty nicely though. Just came out quickly. Let's chop the rest of these trees down. And, um, that guy, <laughs> leave him there. Uh, I will put in, let's put in like a little bit of a stockade just to look cool. Something like that. And we'll do something like over here. We have to put in like a corner piece for the, for the stockade there for that. Um, I might remove that canal right there. Put a stockade gate in here, which will go in. I guess they'll go in right there. Continue the stockade to the water, all the way to the water. Yeah. Down this way, and we'll figure out something over here. And then for the corner, we gotta put a tower in, so we'll put a second tower in. Like that. Yeah, those are getting those are getting built as we speak, um, and. I don't need any of this wood, so we're going to clear all that jungle out. That one. We can't get to that one. Okay. Is my canal working? I don't think my canal is working. Okay. We can turn. I don't know why I didn't put my canal in right. Hmm. Is it right? Oh, maybe. Oh, it's not built yet. That's what's going on. Okay. So they did everything here, but not, not over there. Okay. We got a good amount of people. We only have a couple of uh, of elite workers. And this is still not built. But the, the walls are coming up nicely. Yeah, we got that corner piece. Yeah, looking good. There's my gate. Very nice. Almost looks like a proper proper town. We got a road to get done. We got a few things to get done. But we've got plenty of food. We're a little short on on some timber. Plenty of maize. Prestige and might isn't going anywhere, but prestige is getting there. Um, we didn't get anything built. Nothing's nothing's being built. A bunch of supplies of timber just got dropped off. My farmer's hut has caught fire. Yeah, that happens. But we got a well here. They can put it out. Ah. Or they can just burn it down. Remove that and put a new farmer's hut in there. Bit to remove that before we can put that in there. Uh, I didn't put in a a porter yard. I should get one of these in here to make sure things get hauled around. We'll just throw it like right. I'll throw it there. Just make sure this stuff gets hauled around where it needs to go. Short on common workers. Yeah. Oh, they're coming to, they're gonna fight me again and these guys just don't know when to give up the other things I could do is where's my uh, so there's the gatehouse that's for like the stone walls uh, there's the fortress which is our, what I have and there's also a barracks for professional soldiers um, I will put a hunter's camp in while I'm here is that water coming in here yet is that what's going on 
Let's throw this guy in. Um, I can put it across from the canal. It's it over here probably pretty nicely. And it's in range of the granary. Perfect. Is that water coming? I think it is. It's, it's, it'll get there. <laughs> maybe, maybe. It's a s slow, slow going canal, but look at those fruit trees. Looking pretty good. Irrigated no, irrigated no. Yeah, well, it'll get there. Maybe. Canal, let's, let's just canal. Where do we need to canal to? We got a canal, I think, over here. Another one coming at me? Man, these guys just don't know when to give up. I did put frequent raids, so. I suppose that explains it. Because that, that's, that's that. That's where I'm supposed to be digging it out, and we're not. Um, fine, let's do that. Connect it up that way. There we go. Okay, we get to, we get to be attacked again. From over there. Okay, everybody, um, let's stand. If I put you, like, here, will you get on that wall? Yeah, you will. Nice. What are you going down there for? Not over there. There we go. So we'll, we'll, we'll chuck our spears at him from the wall. Here they come. Be able to walk around town with spears in hand. And well, this guy's got it figured out. These guys are over here having a good time. Now some of them are going out. There you go. You got to stand on the wall getting them. Excellent. What is a bunch of them here? This is a good place to wrap it up. This is Tlatawani. It's available now. On Steam. I'll put links below. You can check it out. In the description there. Wait till we get this this guy with his cool hat. We're gonna get him. One on one. I got a disease. I need some herb some herbalists. Get that guy. Oh, well, someone's over here throwing at him too. Nice. This is a, I barely scratched the surface here. It didn't even get to see a canal. It worked in my tutorial game. We had water flowing all through there. It was great. Um, we can conquer. We can we can punish, which we should, but they have a lot more troops than we do. Trade, of course, is a thing we can do. What is this? These are my traders. Traders traveling from here. Uh, that's me. <clears throat> and um, anyway, thanks for watching. Again, this is Tlatawani. Is available now. Links are below. Thanks again, Paradox, Thanks again, Paradox Arc, for sponsoring today's video. And I hope you have a good one.